Hey you guys, my name is Brittany and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So you guys, in today's video, I am going to be talking all about my October homeschooling update. So you guys, I know it's kind of weird for me to be talking about our, or my October homeschooling update because we are still in the month of October. But for us, we are actually finished homeschooling because we are on our uh, week's break of homeschool. We have done the Sabbath homeschooling schedule where we're doing the six weeks on, one week off. So as you guys are watching this video, we have officially completed our first 12 weeks of homeschool. So we are about, what, 25% of the way done with our homeschooling year. And it's so crazy to kind of like think about it like that. But um, I'm really excited. Uh, we're not going to kick back start like our homeschooling until November 1st. So we're going to really enjoy this break. I'm really happy for it, you guys. I was really exhausted. And um, I'm loving this schedule because it's making it be, be like more intentional and taking Taking breaks within our homeschool. So you guys, like I have a list of stuff that I want to talk about in this update. I went ahead and put it on my phone in this video. So I'm not just like flying off the seat of my pants. I really want to make sure I like touch on everything that has happened for us and uh, just all of the, just all of the things you guys. Look, I'm already rambling. But um, before I really get into the update, I do want to give you guys like kind of like a channel update and like what you can expect from my channel in the month of November. So I put a poll on my uh, YouTube community tab just asking you guys what duo lessons you want to see from my channel because in this upcoming month, I'm really going to bring you guys inside of my homeschool. I'm not really going to be showing you like a lot of books and you know just talking to you guys in front of the camera I'm really going to show you guys more behind the scenes so I am going to be doing a Saxon do a lesson with me with Nicole the math lady I'm going to be sharing a week of a river of voices from blossom and root our uh, history curriculum and I'm also going to be sharing a week of IEW and I'm going to do a day in a life for you guys so those are some of the videos that I have planned for you guys for the month of November, I may have a few bonus videos for you guys as well, uh, just so you guys can kind of like come inside and have like a more in-depth view of my homeschool, how things run. I mean, it's not always perfect over here. And I just want to share that piece of me in my homeschool. Okay. So now into the update. Let's go ahead and start off with the books that we have enjoyed this month. I'm going to start off with our read aloud. You guys, we are still reading this book, The Secret Zoo. We haven't been going through our read alouds as fast as we have in our previous years, which is okay because we are doing like a literature based um, history curriculum. Um, we are reading more literature from our history, which is perfectly fine with me. But The Secret Zoo is still, it's so great. It's really reminding me of like the Chronicles of Narnia because I actually seen the movie and um, I'm really liking this fantasy and it's a lot of fun. We are listening to this one on Audible so it's been great especially over like our lunch time. So I want to share some of the books Brielle is reading independently because I think I forgot to share them in my previous updates but Brielle she finished reading this book right here Something to Say and she really enjoyed this one. This book was about a young 11 year old. Her name is Janine and she's really shy in her school until someone like befriends her and um, I really really love Brielle reading this book because I'm finding sometimes Brielle can be more of an introvert especially when we get into like outside public settings and she really related with Janine in this book and she really enjoyed this one um so this one was something to say right now Brielle is reading this book right here it's called like magic and it's just about a group of girls finding uh, a mysterious box in the library and they are passing things between each other it's another book personal narrative about friendship and um hopefully she enjoys this one right now she is about quarter of the way through it and she said she really enjoys it one of the girls in this book she is actually homeschooled so uh, Brielle is definitely getting a kick out of being able to relate to a character in this uh, book called Like Magic. So if you guys want to know the rest of the independent readers that Brielle is going to be reading throughout the school year we did make a video together about that and I will go ahead and put it in my description box and in the iCarts so you guys can check out that video to see all the other independent reads she is going to read uh, this school year. 
So you guys, as far as like history goes, our history read alouds from A River of Voices has been so great. We actually uh, did a read aloud uh, through YouTube of Encounter, and I'm just gonna put a picture of it up because I actually already, or we actually listened to that one on um, YouTube, and it was really, really good. We enjoyed that one. We also read a short chapter book called Morning Girl, and I returned that one from the library already, so I will go ahead and insert a picture of that one. And that was, uh, that book morning girl was a great book just uh talking about the encounter uh their first encounters of uh the europeans and i really enjoyed that one brielle really enjoyed that book it was definitely a great short read aloud um we also read josie dances and this was a great book a uh, coming age book of a native american uh, young girl in her first powwow so we really enjoyed reading this book this month and those are some of like our history highlights for brielle real and as far as my younger two my four and my two-year-old you guys this month their favorite book was omari's farm and this is definitely a cute picture book i think i shared this one with you guys on my fall uh favorites and this book just goes along as omari is looking through her family garden trying to find a pumpkin and she is uh embarking on all the different various fruits and vegetables until she finally finds a pumpkin for their pumpkin potluck so this is definitely a cute real out that my daughters they want me to read to them over and over again this month so we really enjoyed Omari's Farm. So those are like all of like our book highlights for this month. So um, what else do I have on here on my phone? Okay, yes. So you guys, we actually went on our first homeschool hangout, our first homeschool group. Uh, we are pandemic homeschoolers. So uh, we never really had the opportunity to like have a sense of community uh, within our homeschool until this year is really when I started to feel more comfortable for us like going out and doing more like events uh with my daughter so our local library actually has a new homeschool group which is completely free they meet twice a month so uh we actually did pumpkin science and my daughter had so much fun um i had a lot of fun you guys just honestly meeting and talking to in person other like homeschoolers i feel like i do have opportunities to connect with a lot of like homeschooling families and moms and uh, things like that over the internet but it's something special actually meeting and speaking with someone in person and it was a really fun experience for me my younger two uh, toddlers they made friends right away and uh, Brielle really had an awesome time. She's definitely more shy, so she was very reserved when we uh, went to the hangout, and I kind of was able to see her personality, you know, outside of our home and outside of her comfort zone, uh, but at the end, she started to warm up a little bit, so I'm hoping as we go to our uh, next homeschool hangout, which is actually this Thursday, that she may open up a little bit more to the group. This Thursday, they're going to be doing spooky chemistry, so I'm really excited for her to have fun uh, uh, doing that so um that is something i'm going to try my best for us to be consistent especially since this is you know free and it's local uh for us to be consistent in going to the homeschool hangouts twice a month in like our local library so another thing that i have on here i want to talk to you guys about is that we are actually going to do our first field trip of the year and I know it's so crazy like we are already 12 weeks in and I haven't done any field trips just yet but we are actually going to go to a, a Native American preserve uh, local to our uh, area since we are finishing up our indigenous unit with a uh, river voices and I really think it's going to be awesome for Brielle to be able to see like these long houses and uh, these uh, different artifacts and things like that of Native Americans since we finished out that unit so that is what what we're going to be doing next month and I'm so excited for us to finally go like on our first uh, like homeschooling field trip so uh, we're really excited about that one as well so you guys as far as like I guess curriculum goes um, I'll start with like my youngest one or our curriculum update Everything is going good with Leia. Leia is my four-year-old, you guys. Her core she's mainly doing is all about reading, pre-reading. She's doing preschool math at home by Kate Snow, and she's doing handwriting without tears. So that's like her main core lineup. We do do like fun units, like our purely preschool fall unit, and we do uh, add in some like play, playing preschool units as well, just like for fun, but that's like her core. I'm gonna show you guys some of her like uh, letters that she's done for um, from All About 
about reading. So right now we actually finished the first four units in the all about reading pre-reading. And you guys, she has mastered the skill of like the rhyming and rhyming words. She loves Ziggy the Zebra, but here is some of her uh, letters that she's done with all about reading. So she has A and B. And then this one is C and then D. So she is going to have like a really, really cute portfolio at the end of this um, pre-reading unit. And I'm really, really happy of my decision to add like in a formal phonics program for her because I'm definitely noticing a difference not only uh, with her and her uh, skills, but she actually is doing much better with her speech. With the All About Reading pre-reading program, I do have to make sure I read to her 20 minutes a day, just one-on-one. -on -one, and it's really making me be more intentional with like reading with Leia. So all of her lineup is going great. I'm so happy with all the decisions that I have with her curriculum. Now, as far as Brielle, you guys, like Brielle, like we are finally at a place where everything's like mellowed out as far as like our curriculum. Um, we are really enjoying Saxon. Saxon 7-6, we actually started it this month because she finished 6-5. And Saxon 7-6 has been going great. It definitely um, is still a review from 6-5. And her doing these review lessons has really been building her confidence within math. Uh, she has been really um, acing these lessons, acing these tests. And it's really showing me that Saxon was definitely a great fit for her. And I'm so happy that I switched her uh, last year when I did to Saxon because now she is becoming more confident in math. Math is, you know, not necessarily her strong subject, but she's confident. She's She's doing well and I can see her progressing in this subject. So I'm so proud of her for all the hard work she's done. So Saxon is going good. IEW, you guys, is going good. We are actually on week 10 of IEW. Um, I, ha I don't have anything bad to say about IEW, you guys. It's going so well. Um, Brielle, like I said before, we're not doing like two weeks in one week anymore. She is really slowing down when it co when it's coming to like that editing process. Um, she is really finding her own voice within writing. And I'm really seeing like um, as it's further along with the IEW where right now she's at the point where she can't use certain words like see, saw, said. So she's on the part where she can't use some verbs. So it's really challenging her to use other verb, uh, other words in her writing. And it's really challenging her as far as like her vocabulary. And uh, while we're on the talk about vocabulary, you guys, like Brielle, I can definitely say we definitely are struggling in our homeschool when it comes to like her retaining vocabulary. In my last update, you guys, um, I did talk about me dumping wordly wise because she was just dumping the words at the end of the week because we were already doing 180 days of spelling and word study. And this 180 days of spelling and word study does focus more on like the uh, prefixes, the suffixes, the root words, and it really focuses on those things with the spelling words as well. So I felt like it was kind of redundant as well us doing wordly wise since she was kind of like already getting it with 180 days. But um, she still wasn't doing really well when it came to the vocabulary portion. So what I did for Brielle was I started to... Um, just really go over those definitions with her. And I really challenged her uh, because like one of her words was compensate last week. And I would say, Brie, what is a way you can shorten the word compensate into two words? And she said to pay. So when I would ask her what the meaning of compensate was, she would say to pay. And another one of her words was comprehend. And the two words she chose for comprehend was to understand. So by us shortening like the uh, meaning or the definition of the vocabulary word, she's retaining it a lot better and she's doing so well with vocabulary. So I'm really happy to take this approach with 180 days of spelling and word study and combine her spelling with her vocabulary. Spelling, she's great at spelling. Um, she really is, she really has mastered the skill of spelling phonetically. So I'm really not focusing much on the spelling aspect of this book, but more so the vocabulary. So it, her vocabulary is finally, we're finally getting somewhere, I should say. Um, but um, everything, all in all, it's well. I definitely know vocabulary was an area we did have to focus on because I did test Brielle at the end of our school year and I tested her for the past two years uh, that we've done our homeschool. So I really didn't see any growth when I look back at her test and her vocabulary. It kind of like just stayed the same. So I knew that that was the area we needed to work on. 
So as far as like Brielle, some of the fun stuff that she's been doing this month and a resource I really have been enjoying has been this My Story Journal from Chanel from Intentional Homeschool. She actually um, added this to her shop and I went ahead and got it because this is just a cute storyboard that uh, Brielle is able to plot out like all of her creative writing. She's able to uh, kind of like really think about all of her creative writing, her characters, her uh, conflict her plot her summary so she's really able to like utilize this uh, template when she's doing her creative writing before she had this journal she was really just using like a scrap note paper and all of her stuff was getting all over the place she was like losing some of the pages when she was coming up with like stories for her creative writing so she was so excited when I showed her this new template for her to do like all of her stories and map out some of her characters uh, hopefully she doesn't mind but here goes um, one of the characters who's the villain that she drawed out and she mapped out for one of her stories that she's writing right now so i'm so happy to uh allow her to be able to use this as she's working on her creative writing uh brielle she did have like a writing block this month and she was so nervous because for a whole week she wasn't doing her creative writing she was like kind of getting stumped on what she wanted to write uh, the story she was writing wasn't uh, turning out the way she wanted it to so uh, she took like a week off of writing then I printed off this journal for her you guys and then like now she's just like flying as far as like her fun creative writing so I'm so happy that um, I was able to find this from Chanel shop and she actually uh, offered it for free uh, for a whole week as like a promotion right now I think it's only five dollars and honestly I I probably would have still paid five dollars for this my story journal because she's really really um enjoying it okay you guys let me see did i mention everything okay actually <laughs> okay you guys that is really everything as far as october and our update and everything that has happened in our homeschool um like i said before things have definitely settled down uh nothing new has really been happening over here which i'm so happy about um so you guys i really look forward to doing all these day in the lives do a lesson with you guys so you can kind of come inside of my homeschool a little bit more and i really hope you stay tuned on my channel to uh watch these videos that i'm going to be making for you guys in the upcoming weeks so as always thank you guys so much for watching today's video and i look forward to seeing everybody in my next one bye